Hey, I want to answer a question that I get all the time. How many megapixels do I need? Or when someone goes into a store, they're like, I want the camera with the most megapixels ever. Give me a camera with 5,000 megapixels. Uh, people have this theory that more megapixels equals a better picture. Um, but I have a cell phone that has more megapixels than my first digital camera I used a few years ago. Um, so I just want to kind of talk about that and what megapixels actually are and when they're useful and when they're not useful and when they can actually hinder you. Um, so first a megapixel is talking about how many pixels are on your image sensor. So film, that doesn't have megapixels because it's film, it's not digital. Um, for example, if your sensor has 24 megapixels, so you have a 24 megapixel camera, then there's 24 million little pixels on your image sensor. So think of a pixel as a bucket and think of light uh, kind of like rain. So as it's raining, all your little pixels are collecting the light. So you've got your buckets, which are your pixels. There's 24 million of them, and the light is the rain. So um, the more buckets you have, the smaller the buckets have to be. Uh, so if you have 24 megapixels, you've got 24 million buckets on your tiny little sensor. Um, if you have 16 megapixels, then you've got 16 million buckets on your little sensor. So obviously the one with 16 megapixels have bigger buckets or bigger pixels, which means that each pixel can collect more light or more rain. Um, as for, let's say you have a Nikon D3S. So it's an older model, but it's incredible in low light. It's only 12 megapixels, but that thing can collect so much light and it's incredible in the super dark receptions or if you're shooting in a ceremony site uh, that's lit by candles, I don't know. The thing does incredible because it's 12 megapixels, which means it only has 12 million pixels, which means each pixel is bigger. Um, I have a few examples I wanted to show you. So like I have my GoPro. This thing's tiny. Each image sensor in there is super tiny. And I have a camera I tore apart a long time ago. And this square is, it's, I mean, it's smaller than my pinky fingernail. But this point and shoot camera was 24 megapixels, which means there's 24 pixels on here. Um, I have a D7100. It's 24 megapixels, but its sensor is a whole lot bigger. Um, you can see, I'll do a close up. But if both of these have 24 megapixels on it, which one do you think does better in low light? And it would be this one, because this one, the pixels are bigger. Um, they're just physically bigger. They are able to collect more light. Um, so that's why when you get a full frame camera, typically it does better in low light because the sensor is even bigger, which means the buckets are even bigger, which means it can collect more light. Um, I have a full frame camera and Sarah has a full frame camera. Hers is 24 megapixels, the D750, and I love it. Mine is the D800 and it's 36 megapixels. So her camera has less megapixels, which means each pixel is bigger, which means her camera is actually better in low light. So mine's 36 and hers is 24. A lot of people are like, oh, give me the one with 36 megapixels. It has more megapixels. But if I can choose, I always choose to shoot with her camera because it does better in low light. Um, so I got my new favorite camera ever in the world and it's my medium format. And this, uh, this is film, but they do have medium format digital cameras. They're just like $20,000 and don't really want to spend that right now. Um, so th the film on this is huge. So in medium format, the digital sensors are just massive. So they can cram 100 megapixels on there and still get enough light. Um, so if you take like your iPhone, your iPhone, I don't even know how many megapixels it has, like 16 or 8 or 12. I can just make up a number. Uh, but those pixels are just crammed in there. They're super tiny. They can't collect a lot of light just because they're so small. So the bigger your sensor typically means the bigger your pixels. Um, the less amount of megapixels, the bigger the pixels. So you got to kind of have the balance. When 
So you might ask like, why don't I have a camera with two megapixels? Um, or some of the first cameras were only one megapixel. But what that does is that means you can't print it big. The more megapixels, the bigger you can print things. Uh, so for example, I'm shooting something for Home Depot. Um, really random last week, I got asked to shoot a kitchen for Home Depot and they're putting it on a five foot by eight foot banner in a bunch of their stores. So I needed a ton of megapixels because this thing was gonna be printed huge. So I used my camera with 36 megapixels to so I could print it huge. Um, but if I don't need to print anything massive, I don't mind using 24 megapixels or 16 megapixels. For most people, like eight is fine. Uh, when you're on Facebook, I mean, those are two megapixel images. They're tiny. You don't need anything huge. So when you're shopping for a camera or you want an upgraded camera, don't look at just the megapixels. The only thing they're good for is cropping in. So you already take the picture and you want to crop it into here. So you want to cut and lose a lot of this. More megapixels, you can crop more. Um, and then more megapixels, you can print more but it does has really little to do with your image quality if you're posting them on Facebook or blog or even printing. Uh, you can print like a 16 by 24 canvas with a cell phone and that's fine. I mean, if you're printing life-size prints or you're doing billboards or you're doing anything that's massive, then sure, you might need more megapixels, but uh, the typical person really doesn't. Um, so just remember the more megapixels, the smaller the buckets are that are collecting light. Uh, so it needs more. So just a few fun examples. Like I have this camera, the Nikon J1. They have like the J4 out now, um, but it seems like the cool new trend is 24 megapixels. So like this, uh, say if that was 24 megapixels, they would be a lot smaller than Sarah's full frame camera that's 24 megapixels. Um, my cell phone, the image sensor is tiny. I showed you that. So. Just think about that. Uh, megapixels don't mean better picture. It doesn't mean better camera. It's just different purposes. Uh, my 36 megapixel camera is built for high resolution, huge prints, lots of cropping. Um, and Sarah's camera is built for low light. It, I mean, it works awesome in low light. And also the more megapixels, the harder your camera has to work. Um, to, to take those pictures because it's collecting more data, it's storing more data, it fills up your camera faster. Um, so ideally, I like to stick around 16 to 24 megapixels. It seems perfect for everything that we do. Um, people shot with 12 megapixels you know, forever and that was fine. So don't believe the lie, more megapixels doesn't mean better camera.